so hi everyone so this is my new cr5 pro printer from creality so as you can see it here so i recently got this printer and so i've been trying to set it up and use it so the build quality it's all uh, sheet metal and it's very sturdy and it is very heavy also it's around 35 kgs uh, so that's about the construction and uh, so out of the box the print quality is very poor I would say and this, uh, the software what Creality is providing is Cura and the settings are not at all optimized and I'm still trying to figure out how to optimize the settings I have few issues with this printer so I'll try to show you those first of all uh, reality is trying to target this printer at uh, uh, sub industry level printing and if you can see this is a new printer and if you can see here this rod it was fully rusted here when I received it and you can see the pitting marks on here and all these rods uh, so this one primary is the worst one and then this rod also has little bit of rust on it and even the back uh, rod which controls the y axis that also has rusting on this then the other issue what I saw was these motors this motor uh, which controls the y axis and uh, sorry the x axis and uh, this other motor here uh, I can show you better. Uh, let me just try to see a better angle here. So this motor here is, uh, which is the y-axis motor. Both of them are overheating, and uh, this particular motor is uh, showing me around 71 degrees Celsius, and the other one is uh, was showing me 52 degrees Celsius. Uh, I tried to add a heat sink here to uh, cool it a bit and also like reduce the current from the controller. The other issue was uh, if you can see here I have put some tape here. So what happens when it is homing this wire will come in between the limit switch here. Uh, and that is not good actually. Uh, yeah and so apart from this I have done some changes here on the top also so this tube uh, is very flimsy and it was zip tied to the main uh, excluder tube so I have like zip tied it here so now it is separate and this tube is separate uh, this printer uh, may look small but it takes a lot of space because the filament is on the back side and so it takes around two feet of uh, depth and the height is also two feet and from the width perspective it is uh, a bit less I think one and a half feet yes uh, so I'm still trying to tune this printer now I'm out of the box like still now I have managed to get a quality like this and this is the filament what they give white filament and it's very difficult to see the imperfections there but uh, it is it has issues now I, so it's I have a Delta printer and that printer is like four years old and that prints better than this so I have to see like uh, if I can tune this or this was a bad purchase yeah so that is my initial expression about the printer and it runs very silent actually it has a silent driver so it is running very silent uh, you can hear the fan uh, fan sound and one more ish thing uh, what I say quality thing that should not have happened if you see this this uh, this is the cooling fan mount and it is 3d printed and the quality is very bad and even this fan uh, is uh, it is uh, um, the seams are getting separated a bit and the air will leak out from here this uh, on such a machine for which you are paying so high price I don't like this 3d print your part it could have been done better here uh, 
yeah i think that's that's my initial review and i'll post a detailed review once i'm able to tune this printer yeah thank you